Royals. What's going on? It's your girl Q the Queen here. And I'm back with another video. We got ourselves um, some lineups for June. Super excited about it. Um, apologies for the dry May when it came to just showing some of the releases. Not gonna lie. May was a little, you know, I wasn't that all that enthused with May. So I didn't want to come in front of y'all talking about some releases that I wasn't really, you know, checking for per se. So anything I was checking for, you all were very, very aware of that. But anyway, what I have for you right now, I'm super excited about for June. Um, this is for sure one of the drops I'm going after. It's no delay, no question, all of the things. I'm definitely super excited about this one. This is my number one pick and we're gonna get right into it. So here's the box, baby. Box details, normal tissue paper, um, classic Nike box and, and classic, classic Nike in the box. Listen. Listen, let me just get both shoes out of this thing because we gotta we gotta show all of the respect that is properly needed right about now when it comes to these joints right here, man. All right, so we got the Nike Diamond Turf Max 96, okay? And I'm gonna just shut up while, while I spin this thing around because you need to see it in all of its glory, even though I'm still talking while I'm spinning it around so you can see it in all of its glory because it's just hard not to say anything. But um, listen, like I said, top pick for me for uh, June. And um, it's just super classic, baby. So what makes it the shoe that it is outside of Prime being the superstar that he was is that ripped effect that it has across the entire upper, right? So that white coming up on that new Bucks black suede just ripped across the shoe like that. I just love that look. It has that varsity maze on the swoosh and then kind of in those accent dots that you see going through that black new book suede right there. The white rips that go across the midsole or not the midsole but the uh, the upper is actually just a leather right. So it's kind of a synthetic leather up against that new book black right. So Changing texture as you go through with those. Got that Varsity Maze on the heel as well. Got that air in white on that tongue. We got the football logo, goal post. Of course, that midfoot strap is a part of what makes the shoe the shoe with the white swoosh up against it. The very thing that makes it a max is that Air Max unit going across the heel. Then of course you got your midsole, all white midsole. Up against the toe is black. And then on that very, very bottom, which is super white, so white we almost washed out on this thing. You can see that black swoosh on the ball of the foot. And one of the dopest details to me is that picture of Prime on the bottom of the heel right there. That's so dope. Surrounded by that, that varsity maze, that is fire. And it's the same on both. So you can expect that on the heel, on the bottom of both shoes. You can see on the insole, the Diamond Turf logo, in black you can see the two baseballs at the very bottom as we know you know coach prime was was an all-around athlete similar to uh bo jackson being able to play both baseball and football um of course a lot of controversy comes from that the question of could he do both and uh he could so <laughs> growing up i remember um i remember the shoe of course i remember Barry Sanders, I remember, uh, you know, Dan Marino's pairs. Um, I just happened to have a, a next door neighbor, I remember actually having the Dion's. So this was somebody where everybody else was rocking Jays. He had the Dion's, like, and that's what I remember most. Like, we'd be in the driveway playing basketball and he'd break out in his Dion's. <laughs> like, <laughs> and at the time, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm one of the kids that couldn't get all the latest and greatest, right? So just seeing these on feet while well, playing basketball though, even though it's not a basketball shoe, like I just remember, I have memories of seeing this shoe in my childhood at certain moments like that. And so um, I get a chance to relive that with these type of pickups, okay? But yeah, man, so long overdue. Very happy that uh, Coach Prime is back with Nike. 
Um, without that partnership, we definitely were not going to get this shoe. And if we did, of course, it was not going to have some of the elements that it has, right? So, yeah, man. It's looking like June 14th for these guys. I'm super excited. Um, I want to say that's a Friday. So definitely do what y'all need to do. Find out what uh, what stores are dropping these in y'all's areas and get out there and get this drop. I know everybody that's a, a head head for real um, when it comes to these Nike classics, especially ones like these that we were very unlikely to get again um, anytime soon as far as we knew. Yeah, this a must, this a must. If this not your sneaker for June, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, y'all let me know. Y'all copy? Diamond Turf Max 96. It don't get more classic than this, man. This might be the classic of the year, for sure. Might be the classic of the year. Um, but yeah, until next time. <laughs> Royalty. <laughs>